Hey guys, what's going on guys? It's your boy Mad Gamer. I'm coming at you guys with another gameplay. Uh, I'm sorry about last week and I only got one thing done. I plan to double upload today, basically meaning I'm going to be doing a uh, zombies live stream tonight. Not really, a, it's not going to be live, but it's going to be with my friends and everything. Uh, first, start off a little bit about the gameplay. I'm going to ruin this. I went 50 and 6. Um, I believe we lose the game, unfortunately. I do get a swarm in this gameplay. I think that comes in a later state of this gameplay. I was using the AN with the beautiful gold camo. And this reject guy was like really good this game. To be completely honest, he was really good. Just watching the kill cams. I played with him in a TDM game before. I'm going to speed through a couple of these parts. You guys are probably used to that. Go ahead and pick up the points for the B flag. Next time I spawn in, I'll have to check out my perks, because I forget what I was running this game. And then, of course, using that UAV to your full advantage. Every time you hear UAV or something like that, you always want to check your radar, guys. It'll always give you the he ha upper hand in a battle. Sorry, a little bit of stuttering right there. This dude right here almost got me. I'm like, pick up my UAV. So I noticed they just got B, and I get to say all my teammates are over there. And also, I mean, it's just, in this gameplay, it was all a matter of the misdirection. Like, I would get a head glitch, and this guy wouldn't look at my way, or... That guy was throwing a grenade, and I picked him off like that. So this gameplay is a tad wee bit old. I believe I was like... Yeah, I was... Oh, I was level 54 when I made this, so it wasn't too old, but... I believe... Where do I pick up? I believe right after I... After I get in Warehouse and post up for two kills, I think it starts to get like... I camp it out because I want streaks, and then another knife, guys. I've been getting lucky with that knife. I don't know what's up. The knife has been good to me. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this. I chilled in their spawn because, I mean, to be completely honest, I am scared to death when I get in other people's spawns. I just don't like it. And then I noticed that guy was uh, in, uh, up in warehouse. Sorry about that. And I'm like, oh, nope, not challenging that. So sitting here on the steps, halfway to my V side. I noticed that dude. He misses a shot on me. I get the points right there. I'm still moving around. I'm, I'm sticking to the corners of this map this game. I was playing a little bit more defensive this game. I get that dude. I notice... I believe I get my V set right here. No, I don't. I he nearly picks me. I get that dude, and I get lightning striked. What can you do? I I no, I don't think I knife the air because I got a. I opened up bag of Dorito chips. Didn't even continue the streak though, which is kind of frustrating because I knew I would have gotten that swarm once I got that V set. But I mean, look at that teammate saving my life, dude. Th appreciate you, teammates. Teammates are always nice to have, it, especially even communicating. I was playing solo in this game, but. I mean, that dude tried to peek me, I got him. The VSAT assists, I mean, the assists with the VSATs and, like, UAVs and stuff, they're really helpful. I mean, look at that, I get, like, one kill and a couple of VSAT assists, two kills, a couple of VSAT assists, boom. Got another UAV, but gonna go ahead and pop, pop on the B flag. That's 20 points per kill, guys, so I'm getting, like, 40 points just for my teammates getting kills. And get an assist right there. I'm pushing up through brown right now, but, um, the way to play standoff, as I've learned it, is to stay, um... Stay away from that B flag area, guys, because that is what got me killed, I think, once or twice this gameplay, because that B flag area is just terrible when you get caught there. Cause, I mean, you will get killed faster than you understand. I nearly got the three-piece right there, kind of. It's not very nice, but, I mean, I got the two-piece. I'm fine with that. I'm um, camp right here at Brown. This place right here on the steps right here is really good. I like this place on the steps right there. That dude almost killed me. I, I probably would have won the gunfight. I would have been one shot, though. That dude throws the... Simtex, I'm like, jump away, and then I open up another bag of Dorito chips. I believe, no, I do not get this swarm. That's another choke, two chokes, one game. Another pickup of a kill right there. So I guess the commentary topic to talk about today is me. And right here, I get blindly start firing, and I just get choked. I'm like, oh man, I got, I died. So it's not very fun, but go over here, start picking up some kills before halftime ends. Vsat's getting ready to fade away. So today I'm going to talk about Edge. And we've been picking up quite a few members. Um, I've already released the recruitment challenge, but I will state it again. So the recruitment challenge is basically, you have to be someone who knows how to use a sniper rifle. I mean, you got to know how to quick scope and stuff like that. you got to know how to roll with pub people. you got to know how to get to be a support player. I mean, we're not asking you to, but it's just part of the things that we need you to do for us to get good gameplay like this. Um, as far as YouTube goes, this is going to be a team channel, but once everybody, I will give the editing rights to everybody else, they'll be able to come on here and upload as well on Edge. And the Edge Gamer Recruitment, sorry, I'm getting a little bit off track. So you have to be able to quick scope, you've got to be able to do the pubs and all that. I get up here and I think, do I choke it? No, I don't. I'm just looking down at the bottom, but... Uh, sorry, Kool-Aid's inviting me. I think he's just, like, spamming me random invites, but... I'm going to go ahead and get another pick right there. Nice three-piece sheep tech. But what I was talking about is the recruitment challenges. You're going to have to 1v1 me. 
And what's going to happen is we're going to quick scope and we're going to trick shot final mostly, probably Nuketown. I, it's probably going to be Nuketown definitely. But, and then, so how I'm going to grade you is if you get below 10 kills, you are not an edge. And this is quick scoping. But this isn't going to determine all this, it's just the first part of it. So if you don't, if you don't get 10 kills, then you're not in the clan. You get 10, you barely pass. You get 15, you'll be like, you got some skill. You get 20 or above, then definitely you're in. Get in their spawn right here. Get a nasty two-piece. Do I get the three? Oh, no. Devin cuts me off right there. But I pick up a VSAT. Notice over here, get a clutch two-piece drop shot right there. So I'm carrying on my streak. And, yeah, so that's our basically recruitment challenge. And the second part is, I, if you fail the quick scoping, then I will let you play with pubs on us. Or if you get oh, just above 10 kills, I will... Um, I'll make you play some pub games with us, see if you can roll in there. I camp right here in this warehouse, and I'm telling you, this warehouse is awesome. I am telling you, this warehouse is beautiful. Right here on the steps, I had to get up, but look at that. They are spawning right there. I get a nasty three-piece right there. I love that three-piece. I was so hyped once I got that three-piece to get my swarm. Calling another UAV. I'm trapped in their spawn. I'm just like, you know, whatever, I'll call in the swarm. And there we go, I got a swarm, guys, so I get picked off right there by Busta, but my swarm, I believe, starts to go ham. So, and that's pretty much, like, what our recruitment challenge is, nice little two-piece by the swarm. I think it goes pretty ham, coming up, yeah, I get a couple people over here. That dude is one shot. But that's the thing, guys, and when you see me using these ARs, you see me reload a lot. I get killed by my own swarm, I'm sitting here like, face palm, face palm, face palm, but... Whatever, it's fine. I'm not mad. And so the thing with assault rifles, you see me using them, I like to reload a lot. Because I, the thing with assault rifles, they are such good weapons. And I love assault rifles. But the problem with assault rifles is they have little to none ammo in the magazine. They have a bunch in reserve, but they have little to none. Especially, I mean, the reserves are decent. They're not incredible. But, I mean, you have to have scavenger. I mean, I'm not saying that's like a crutch perk, like you have to have it, but it's really recommended with especially salt rifles. They don't have a lot of ammo in the clip, so I like to reload often because I know that I'm not going to be able to get three pieces, two pieces, or like anything like that if I'm not using, not using, uh, what you call it, scavenger. Sorry, my bad. All right, enough bullets in the magazine. What am I talking about? I pick up that commander promotion right here, and sheep tech in this game goes pretty ham. He's up there with me. 48 and 6. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the gameplay. I pick like one guy right there. I get in their spawn. I get, so I think this is kind of cool. I get the uh, 50 bomb with something incredible. I wonder if you guys saw it, but I hope you didn't. I Because it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So I go up here. I notice there's a sniper up here. I'm like, hmm. Hmm, I see you. Shank. <laughs> Got it right there, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be double uploading tonight. So the Zombies live stream should be out a little bit later tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. Give me any suggestions. I took one from my buddy at school about zombies. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.